In this course, I learned about the basics of macroeconomics. Among the topics I studied, I found economical growth of the United States and price level changes particularly interesting. One good way to visually see such changes in history is to watch a Hollywood film of a few decades old. Back to the Future is a perfect film in which we can visually see some changes that reflect the US economical growth and the price level changes from 1955 to 1985. This film starts with a scene in the year 1985, which was the year the film was released. The main character, a high school student, Marty, time travels with the time machine his friend scientist, Doc, invented, and goes 30 years back to 1955. On the night he time travels, Doc called Marty out to Twin Pines Mall, which used to be a farmland 30 years before then. November 5th, 1955! Yes, of course, November 5th, 1955! God, has it been that long? Things have certainly changed around here. I remember when this was all farmland as far as the eye could see. Now, let's go back to 1955 with Marty and see the farmland. Within 30 years, nothing remains of the farmland. All the ground is paved with asphalt and there's a big department store of J.C. Penney. This shows the fast-paced economical growth in a typical city. As Marty starts to explore the city in 1955, we can compare some prices between 1955, 85 and today. In 1955, a ticket for a movie was 50 cents. In 85, we can see behind Marty that the price went up to $5. Today, a typical cost at an AMC theater is $13 per ticket. The gas price at Texaco was 19.5 cents per gallon in 1955. Oh, Check out that 4x4. That is hot. And went up to about $1.20 in 85. And today, we pay about $3 per gallon. Marty also finds out that the cost of a cup of coffee was only 5 cents. It is about 2 dollars today at Starbucks. Marty's mother, Lorraine, lives in a middle-class family in the 50s. Her dad just picks up their first TV set. Sam, here's the young man you hit with your car out there. He's all right. Sam, stop fiddling with that thing and come in here and eat your dinner. Oh, oh, oh. Look at it roll. Now we can watch Jackie Gleason while we eat. Our first television set. Dad just picked it up today. Do you have a television? Well, yeah, you know we have two of them. Wow, you must be rich. Oh, honey, he's teasing you. Nobody has two television sets. Owning two TVs is considered rich in 55. In 85, it seems that just about anybody can own a TV or two. Here comes the iconic manure scene in Back to the Future series. In 1955, Biff pays only $300 to get that expensive car repaired. Uh, you just gotta have the right touch. Nobody can start this car but me. The yeah, bill comes with $302. $300? $300 bucks. bucks for a couple of cents? No, hey, that's bullshit, Terry. No, Biff, it was horseshit. Today, this kind of repair would cost us thousands of dollars. There's another interesting insight about a car. In part 2 of the Back to the Future series, Marty and Doc go to the year 2015 and see the cars flying. Though we don't have flying cars yet, the cost of some higher-end cars like Lexus Hybrid starts from about $40,000. Let's see the car price in 2015 in the film. 39 dollars 
Film does a pretty good job in estimating the inflation and price level in 2015. The film also depicts some other important factors that affect the economical growth in the United States, such as improvement of technology and the social progress of African Americans. This is truly amazing. A portable television studio. Look at me. You think I'm going to spend the rest of my life in this slop house? That's right. He's going to be mayor. Yeah, I'm going to... Mayor. Now, that's a good idea. I could run for mayor. A colored mayor. That'll be the day. You wait and see, Mr. Carruthers. I will be mayor. I'll be the most powerful man in Hill Valley, and I'm going to clean up this town. Good. You're going to start by sweeping the floor. Re-elect Mayor Goldie Wilson. Progress is his middle name. Finally, let's incorporate the idea of inflation and CPI and adjust the box office income in today's price. According to Wikipedia, Back to the Future grossed over $389 million. When we adjust that amount of money in today's dollars, it becomes over $871 million. Though Back to the Future is not the highest grossing film, I think it's one of the best movies. It certainly gives us the idea of how the US economy changes over time, and that even though I may not significantly affect the macroeconomy, I can choose my action now and change my future.